I woke up early today and went out for a walk around the place and get some street food for breakfast. Ah the samosas were delicious and the famous pyaaz kachori of course There's a good crowd outside the stalls of locals and tourists I topped my breakfast with a well-made chai in a cooler and went back to the hostel to say goodbye to my roommates Prashant and Mihir are from Mumbai and it was their first time in Jaipur. I wish them best for the journey ahead and so did they. And I started my ride towards Udaipur. It was around 400 kilometers of a ride and the roads were some of the best that I had ridden on the journey so far especially the highway leading into Udaipur but first I had to deal with the traffic in Jaipur There wasn't much happening on the ride although I did witness a beautiful sunset. I reached Udaipur at around 9 pm and checked into Kiku stays the same one from last time. It was just for the night and tomorrow I'll be starting my ride towards Mumbai. I left from Udaipur at 5 a.m. the next day. It used to get really hot in the afternoon and I wanted to cover most of the distance by lunch time. It was hot, but what irritated me most was the traffic management on the highway. This is a national highway and people are coming from every direction, blocking every small exit. This is when my Bangalore instincts kick in and I got off the road, finding a mud patch to go ahead. I got passed after a fair bit of struggle. This is the old Narmada bridge and the last patch of good road till Maharashtra. The one on the other side is newly constructed and I went over it on my way north. It seems ages ago. I was struggling with the heat now 
and after riding all the way to Spiti, it was on these roads of Gujarat and Rajasthan where I realized why comfortable riding pants are so important. I still had more than 300 kilometers to go and my backside was hurting already. Once I got past Wapi though, the roads got better and I could speed things up a bit. Again, a beautiful sunset greeted me into Mumbai. I was headed to a college friend Ashwin's place to stay for a couple of days. This was the longest I had ridden continuously on this ride, from Chandigarh to Mumbai, covering almost 1800 kilometers in 4 days. I was so fatigued that I decided to avoid riding for the time I was in Mumbai. To get my camera equipment fixed in Mumbai, so I travelled to CST in a local train this time. And while I was there, I went off to just sit down for a while at Marine Drive to enjoy the sunset. Ironically, I had come to the most chaotic place throughout my journey to find some calm. And I did find it. It was refreshing just sitting there, watching the sun go down. Therapeutic almost. Oh, also, looks like Mumbai was playing along. When else would you find such an empty local? I was mentally prepped for the remainder of the journey now. Home was just round the corner. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more such travel videos. Thank you for watching.